Hi, welcome to the BrickMe tutorial. Here I will show you how to use the BrickMe Creator app. I'm using the desktop version, which is a bit easier to use than the mobile version, but they both work exactly the same. First, let's sign up with our email address. This is important if you want to be able to save your designs. Now, let's choose an image. You can upload from your device or choose from this library of free pictures. You can also load one of your saved designs from here. I'm going to upload a photo from my computer. If you're not sure which of your photos will work best, take a look at the tips on our blog. Okay, I chose my photo. Now let's brick it. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Now we can start designing our brick pick. First up, we have the size, shape, and crop menu. In it, we have the base plate size and number of base plates, which determine the size of the picture and the image zoom or crop slider. The base plates are the boards we put the bricks on. And we can see here that they come in two sizes. There's the large base plate, which is 32 by 32 dots, and the small base plate, which is 24 by 24 dots. You can check the actual measurements of the base plates in the tool tip right here. Now, as you can see here, when I change the base plate size, the image changes. That's because the size of the image has changed. You can see the total size of the picture right here at the bottom and next to it, the price of your brick pick if you'd like to order it. Let's stay with the large base plates. Next, we have the number of base plates. Right now, our image has four base plates in a two by two configuration. You can also see the gray outlines on the image that indicate the base plates borders. Let's take it up to three by four base plates. That looks much better, doesn't it? We now have a total of 12 base plates and the total size is 102 by 76 centimeters. Because the bricks stay the same size, when we increase the picture size, we increase its resolution, which makes it look better. Now we need to decide how we want to crop the image. Using this slider here, I can zoom in and clicking and dragging the image will move it around to where I want it. There, that looks good. Moving on, we have the image adjustments menu. Here, we can choose the colors or picture we'll use and adjust the image brightness, contrast, and saturation. Above this slider, you can see the image currently has 20 colors. Because I'm on auto mode, when I move the slider, the app will automatically add or remove colors based on the color's prevalence in the image. I can also manually select or deselect colors from the palette, which will put me in custom mode. As a general rule, it's better to keep the color count low without compromising on the quality of the image. The more colors you have, the harder it will be to build your brick pick. Also, there is a 5% premium on the price if you use more than 25 colors. The palette shows which of the 50 available colors are currently being used. An exclamation mark means there is less than 30 bricks of this color, so you should consider removing if it's not essential. Next, we have the brightness, contrast, and saturation sliders. Contrast is set to 15 by default and saturation to 5. Play around with the sliders to find the best settings for your image. There, that looks better. The last menu is the pen tool. This tool lets you change the color of individual bricks. You can choose a color from the palette or use the color picker to choose a color from the image. Make sure to do this step last because any changes you make to the size or cropping of the image will undo any changes made with the pen tool. Clicking on a brick will change its color. If you're using the desktop version, you can also click and drag to draw on the image. Use the undo button on the upper right corner to undo any changes you made. The slider on the bottom will zoom the image in or out, and this button next to it will put you in full screen mode. Once you're happy with the brick pick, click on the yellow button at the top that says preview. Here in the preview page, we preview the image, share it, and add some optional extras before ordering. We can also save a version of this design and compare with other versions. Just click on the save and compare button on the upper right corner, then click on save this version. Now that this version is saved, you can go back to the editor by clicking on back to editor and make changes to the design. Let's try this now. Now I can compare versions of the same design and choose the one I like best. I'm going to go with the first one. 
The Save Image File button lets you download the preview image to your device. You can then share it with your friends, post on social media, or even use it as your profile pic. Downloading the image is completely free. Above it, we can choose some optional extras for our brick pick. I can add a frame and choose if I want to get the brick pick assembled or if I'm happy to build it myself. I recommend building it yourself because it's a lot of fun to do. There are additional costs for these options, and you can see the full cost breakdown here at the bottom. When you decide you want to order, just click on the red Finish an Order button at the top, and then click Add to Cart. Now just click on Checkout, pay for your order, and prepare to receive your very own personalized brick mosaic. Thank you for watching the BrickMe Creator tutorial. Share with us your BrickMe creations on social media and check out other cool products at www.brick.me.